don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at the Motu Revelation Evil Inn figure. <clears throat> so, this is the front of the box, you can see we've got her in it, just like that, side, side, bottom, top, back. Let's go ahead and open this up, it's to where I can. not one through there so let's just open this up all right empty box okay I'm gonna take this out just a, a rock display stand I guess we'll set it to the side take off the clamshell top Pull out the figure, see if we can stand her up. Let's see, we've got some type of purse thing. This thing here. White head. And multiple different hands. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So looking at the hands, we have fist hand, holding hand, fist hand, and the come hither with the thing that keeps her, her wrist, her whatever that is, her arm piece on. We get the head here, which is actually pretty well done that's a really good face sculpt if you look at it really nice actually we get this purse thingy which has a little bit of paint detail on it some sculpted sculpted detail in the back and we get this thing right here uh, which has the jewel on it and it's coming in at six inches long approximately so yeah that's the accessories now the figure when she comes into focus there we go also has the smaller thing so there's always that let's see here oh she got her some muscles i tell you what oh and stiff joints all right so Looking at the figure, uh, we've got a little bit of paint bleed here and there, not a whole lot, and it doesn't really detract too much from the sculpt, but there is just a little bit going on, just enough to be noticeable. I do like the little skull on top of her head, though. Uh, her eyes are actually looking outward, at least that's what it looks like to me. She's got nice lipstick on, uh, nice shading for the eyes. I like the the details here on this this piece uh, coming down the figure we've got this is paint this this looks like shiny plastic it could be paint I'm not sure this is not soft goods it's it's some type of rubber soft rub uh, soft plastic probably let's see we've got this little bit right here I suppose that's to put this thing in would be my guess the arms we have paint and paint through here so yeah eh. back of the figure we have this little detail down through here around the soft good uh, not soft goods the uh, plastic we get molded this is all plastic get molded details through here for the boots they look good yeah I think she's a nice looking little figure 
covering articulation here. Uh, the head can go up that far, so that's kind of nice. Down that far, I can go all the way around, and you can get sassy, confused, and pissed off, and whatever look if you really want to. The uh, why don't we go ahead and put the other head on just for the sake of argument, so we can. A, say we did, and B, look at it the way it's supposed to be. I don't think I got it all, all the way in there, but it's pretty close. And so here she is with this other head on, and the hair. This is softer plastic. Uh, you still get some of the articulation. I, I do kind of like that look. The arms, uh, disc hinge looks like, then go all the way out to there. All the way around, you get a bicep rotation here. You get a double jointed elbow for the full run, no problem. The wrists can go all the way around, in and out, so there's that. She has the typical uh, cut right here, so she can get some wiggle and articulation both forward and back should be a ball joint hips uh, full rotation on the uh, hips no real ab crunch but you do get a little bit of movement there this is going to get in the way of your articulation but she can kick that far forward and that far back with with this on I, I do not know if it's possible to take that off or not thigh rotation is right here so no problem. Double jointed knee will get you the full run. So no problem. That's a really nice looking joint right there. Uh, for some reason the boot moves. So you can do that. Uh, that far forward. That far back. And we get the standard Marvel Legends rocker. Yeah. Uh, why don't we do some scale comparisons. And we will go into final thoughts. Final thoughts wise, I like this thing. Uh, I didn't really expect to. I figured it would just be, you know, one of those things that doesn't really have a whole lot of life to it when I looked at it in the store. And I have to tell you, I have, I've li I like it. The playability, she has good articulation, she has appropriate uh, accessories the hands and the extra head and uh, this extra thing I mean they work just fine um, the materials feel really good I don't feel like anything's gonna break or have any problem in that regard uh, the pieces that should be able to move move the pieces that don't don't so yeah it works just fine the sculpt is really nice too the cost, I paid t just over $20 for this. I think it was $20.96 at my local Target. Uh, they had three of them, Skeletor, Her, and Mossman. I only picked up Her and Skeletor. I don't know if I'll get Mossman or not just yet. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But for the cost, I think it's really good. If this were my first uh, figure, I would definitely buy more. There's a lot of potential here. I really like her. I, I think she's got a lot of potential. She's going to look really good on a diorama somewhere. So, I hope this helps. This is Tom. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. So, like... Tom wrote another book. It's like he just can't stop writing books or something. I don't understand, but 
He wrote another one. It's called the Gen Chronicles Volume 2, Pain and Hope. Uh, go read it. It's available on Amazon. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's all I got to say. This was a paid promotion. Wow.